Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. I just want to say a huge thank you to Moonshadow who was kind enough to let me share one of her fan tribes. Uh, the dragon I'll be drawing today is Maple Shade, and she is a tree wing. Tree wings are one of the four dragon tribes that live on the third continent. Each clan within the tree wing species is made to look like their respective tree type. Their bodies can range from the burliness of a mud wing to the slender yet strong build of a sky wing. Their horns are miniature versions of the tree they represent, and their scales change color according to the life cycle of the leaf. Their sails are colored and shaped to the leaf of their own clan as well, and they have their own leaf at the end of the tail as you see on Maple Shade. None of the dragons on this third continent have animus abilities, however, some dragons do possess certain elemental powers. The Petrified Clan is a sub-clan to these beautiful creatures, and legend has it that in the last hundred years they were created by a curse to become a withered, stonier version of themselves. The tree clans are oak, maple, birch, alder, cherry, spruce, and petrified. Maple Shade, of course, belongs to the Maple Clan, and she is a snarky know-it-all. <laughs> She's the daughter of the Maple Clan leader, and she enjoys playing practical jokes on her friends and family. She also likes tending to her miniature tree farm, and she's six years old and cannot wait to be seven so she can finally get her first job at the Botanical Gardens. She is well known throughout the continent for being one of the few dragons blessed with elemental magic, hers being plant growth. Okay, so let me start with a tribe. I just want to give a few um, of my thoughts. I think that this was an overall pretty well thought out concept, and uh, I thoroughly enjoyed thinking about all the questions as I drew it. So, um, I like the fact that there are clans within the tribes. It makes things so diverse and there's a lot of room for imagination and possibility. I think the horn idea with the mini tree was <laughs> the hardest part of the uh, the entire drawing. I I thoroughly enjoyed drawing the tree, but, um, but as I was trying to draw it in like different ways, you can see like at the beginning, I didn't understand how in the world I was going to do it if I wanted to have the dragon facing forward. <laughs> so I just ended up having her face to the side. But like I said, it's such a cool little feature. It's kind of cool to draw, you know, like uh, a dragon blending into their surroundings because of, you know, their their tree horns. So that was a pretty cool little little thought there. And the fact that the scales change color according to the life cycle of the tree is really smart. That makes it so much easier to blend in. <laughs> My thoughts on the Petrified Clan were swarming around as I was drawing Maple Shade, and uh, it was really intriguing me. Really interesting concept, um, and really smart concept too. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't think of the Petrified until she mentioned it. I was like, oh <laughs> yeah, forgot that there was Petrified uh, trees. Anyways, but yeah. Like I said, it just the entire concept of. Not just the tree wings, but the, the third continent was very well thought out and allows for a lot of imagination um, to flow freely and, uh, and the ability to, to develop stories. As a design on the whole, I fell in love with the small description. I like that she was snarky, sarcastic, and semi-jerky. <laughs> I like the way that the colors and her personality mix together, and her small bio gives this foreshadowing of what her story might look like in the end. Uh, as I worked on this, I had no reference uh, but the descriptions, so I had a lot of freedom with how her build looked like and her expression, which was really fun uh, because, yeah, it, putting personality into a character is something that I absolutely love doing. I took the artistic liberty on so many things, but I was glad to hear that Moon liked it in the end. Some of those things was like the veins, that wasn't really specified, but I decided, well, you know, it'd be kind of cool to have like leaf veins running through her, um, kind of connecting her everywhere. And then also like the little, the fancy bits that, that are running down her back <laughs> and the glowy bits on her tree horns and her face. Oh, and the little leaf on her, on her cheek. I made a little maple leaf uh, glowy thing on her cheek to, you know, kind of emphasize that she was a maple tree. <laughs> I absolutely loved doing the, uh, what's it called, the, the wings. So the wings were supposed to be based off of the, uh, the seed pods, and I don't know if you guys have ever seen maple, maple leaf, or maple tree leaf uh, seed pods, but they kind of, they almost look like, I don't know dragonflyish wings like they're 
I don't know, just look them up. I was really struggling with um, with trying to make them not look like little dragonfly or butterfly wings. Um, and I think I might have gotten that in the end, hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, I also put little glowy bits in there as well. And so like I said, I took a lot of artistic liberty and um, it was an overall joy to, to draw. Again, big thank you to Moonshadow for supporting and contributing to my channel. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this design and video overall. In a future video, I'll be making my own treeving. I asked and she said yes. Yay. I'm excited to do that. And uh, yeah, be sure to be on the lookout for that one. And if you didn't, then you might want to go check it. But I uh, ended up posting on my community uh, to give you guys a small little prompt. And I'd like to see what you guys come up with. So anyways. I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye.